Hello everyone and welcome to Weld Fever. Today I'm going to do a project on my pickup truck, which is a little bit of a departure from what I normally do on this channel, but it is welding related, so stick with me on it. Hopefully uh, everything will go smoothly here, at least that's the plan, and uh, hopefully you'll pick up something useful that you too might be able to use. If not, if it has nothing to do with you, I apologize, but maybe you'll find it entertaining just the same. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the bed of my pickup truck. I just got done putting in a homemade, or I should say a home installed, do-it-yourself bed liner. And it made the bed look 20 times better than I thought it would. And so that left me with this, and I hope you can see it. <laughs> this is the tailgate, and the tailgate is a mess. It's punched in. It looks like somebody uh, at one time had some cargo that slid to the front and just demolished the front of it. Now I'm cutting away to the top here. Here's the, the top of the bed rail. The bed rail is gone, and it's gone probably because of this big dent here and that relatively decent sized dent there. So the project then today is to seal up these uh, rectangular holes. So let me show you how I go about doing that. Okay, so here we are at the uh, tailgate to the truck, and as you can see, here's the square holes that we're dealing with. Uh, I'll take this material and put it right up there, and the width is like perfect. So now, we can just go ahead and take this off to the side and put a little scribe line right there. Off to the side over here, put a little scribe line, I think, right there. And go ahead, and now with these scribe lines, I'll mark them out and cut them out. Okay, so here's our piece. I have it on a magnetic uh, base here and if you put it in there it's nearly perfect. It just needs a little bit of trimming here and there to get it inside of the piece, but it is right where we need to be. So now I just need to trim this up, trim the corners up, and uh, cut a whole bunch more. Okay, so I'm going to get a real good close-up of the fit-up here, which I think is really, I'm very happy with the fit-up. As you can see, uh, this thing is as tight as it can possibly be. The little rectangles that I made out of the uh, 20 gauge, I went ahead and I, uh, I uh, nipped the corners a little bit, as you can tell. And that helped with the fit-up, and it also helped because these, uh, these rectangles in the truck are rounded edges. So I'm actually going to tack them right in those corners. Uh, to try to prevent any problems in the future. So let me get the welder fired up and we'll go from there. Okay, YouTube, so here goes nothing. Well, as you can see, a little hole opened up there, so what I'm going to have to do then is I'm going to have to be very crafty about filling it in. Well, it looks kind of like a hodgepodge, but it's going in, so that's the good part. Now, the benefit to all this is that even though it looks kind of ugly and a little bit messy, uh, we'll be able to very easily grind this down later. Well, the bottom weld went in really nice, and as you can see, uh, not much problem there. I'm getting a lot of heat on this piece now, so I think that before uh, I have any warpage issues, I'm going to let it rest, and then we'll come back to do some more, and then grind it down, 
and go from there. Okay, I've decided for these holes here, I'm going to try something that I hopefully I can save a little time doing. It's going to be kind of like a modified plug weld I'm, or a rosette where I'm going to actually try to go around the circumference of this thing and uh, seal it up with just weld rather than putting a patch on it. Uh, if I'm good enough, I can do it without burning through. If I'm not, well, we'll all know. So here goes. So I'll start little by little. So there I built up the perimeter with some weld, uh, that way it'll be a little bit easier to go around it. Hopefully there'll be some strength greater than the thin gauge that's here, so let's see how that works out. Well, so far so good. I'm able to make at least one half of a revolution. Let's see if I can finish off the rest here. You know, I can see when I'm burning through, I can see when it's getting too hot, and when I do that I just ease off of the trigger and, uh, you know, squirt a few tack type welds in there, so let's see if I can continue this. And there we go. Uh, we've rosetted it without putting any filler, well, excuse me, without putting a filler piece in there. We actually, uh, I'll go ahead and take this uh, mask off here so you can see it a little closer. Gone ahead and uh, really filled in that large circular piece. Um, now we'll just see how it looks once we grind it. Stay tuned. Okay, so I couldn't wait and I went ahead and I ground down the circular hole. Um, as you can see, there are some low spots in there. Uh, normally, probably, you would use a little body filler or spot, spot putty to finish this off. But, again, remember, I'm going to put down some of this, uh, this uh, bed treatment, uh, you know, truck bed liner stuff. And it is so thick and so textured that it'll go right over that and you'll never even know it was there so and uh, I will also reiterate for the 20th time that I'm not a body man <laughs> I'm not trying to be a body man and the purpose of this is just to fill in some holes and not to make it look overly pretty so anyhow there's that one and here is one of let me get this down here here's one of the uh, squares one of the rectangles and it too has a low spot in the middle which I kind of expected it would but as I said before same thing applies here as did with the circular hole uh, we're not worried about low spots we're not worried about having to put in body filler we are going to put in some of that uh, 
some of that bed liner stuff it'll cover it all up you'll never even know it's there so okay let's uh, continue on with the welding so here's our original hole I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish welding the top part of it Okay, so the welding is done, and uh, I've gone ahead and done all of these now. You can see I'm sweeping across the truck all the way to the end. And all of these have been welded. Now, a few of them have been ground down because, as you know, I couldn't really wait, and I wanted to see what the end result was. But now I'm going to go ahead and grind them all down, and I'll show you what the tailgate looks like once everything is ground. Okay, we've reached a point now where we've got the whole uh, tailgate done. And I'll come in and close get a close-up on each one of these. For the most part, they look pretty good. Uh, there's some, you know, like I said, it's going to be some low spots in the middle of these, but we're not concerned about those. But I'm very happy with the fact that these big old holes are now plugged. Okay, so that was it. Here's the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this one. Uh, we'll see what we do for the next one. Probably not auto body related, but uh, in the end, I'm happy the way this came out. Hey, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one, of course, which will be coming at you real soon. Bye-bye.